Universal Orlando's Mardi Gras 20, 20, 24. 24. Yeah. We're going to do a couple of food tastings. The food tastings are, uh, booths are fixing to open up. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do for lunch today. There's quite a few of the booths that are over here in the New York area, right in front of the Mummy and Jimmy Fallon's here. So I think one of the first things that we decided we wanted to try was the Colombian burger grilled burger with Monterey Jack cheese, pineapple cabbage, slaw, cilantro, garlic sauce, and potato sticks. So we want to give that a try. We are also going to buy a few of the food and beverage cards. They do have 60, you pay $65 for a $75 card. And for an annual pass holder exclusive, you pay $120 for a $150 card. We are going to buy several of those because you can save them for later. They don't have to be used here at the Mardi Gras booths. And you can use them at some of the dining locations later on. We have acquired our Mardi Gras food and beverage cards. Actually, <laughs> that one is from last year. So, Tyler, be sure and hold that one out. Turn them chips out. <laughs> but... Again, we get these, they're annual pass holder, the annual pass holder ones, the deal, they're $150 on each card, but you pay $120. We use them all the way to October and obviously all the way to the next year. So it's a great deal. We have picked up our Colombian burger and we're ready to dig in. We have cut it in half, and I do see the pineapple slaw on there, and we do have some crunchy potato sticks on there, so Tyler's going to try it out first. Let's go. Burger. Okay. Colombian, Colombian burger. burger. Well? You don't get nothing. I don't get any? Pretty good. Is it that good? Good burger. Is it really? Very do you like the pineapple slaw? I'm kind of surprised if you like the pineapple yeah, slaw, though. Yeah, it's not you like, do? It's not overpowering. It kind of helps it. Because you're not a big pineapple person, so. Okay. I like it. All right, well, let me have my half before yeah. you eat it all. Yeah. Of knife. Huh? Of knife. That's good. <laughs> a good burger. I like that. The potato sticks being in there and you're getting that crunch yeah, is kind of weird. Crunch, yeah. But that is a good burger and I love the slaw. And the sauce that they have on there, very good. We may end up with another one of these burgers. Yeah. Um, the, it did come up, what was it, Tyler, after a uh, discount was $9. Yeah, which ain't a, so ain't a bad burger. price. And it's actually a pretty big, big burger yeah. for like a... For a, a tasting, a tasting, a tasting booth, festival, yeah. So. Okay, we're, we're finishing off the rest of this. Yeah. As I had mentioned, a lot of the booths are here along in the New York area. So we finished our delicious Colombian burger. Highly recommend that. And we're going to check out and see what else we want to try. We were trying to decide if we wanted something for the from the New Orleans booth. Tyler won't want the fi fried green tomato po' boy, I know, but uh, I will not have that. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. Now I think we've had this category five punch before: the shrimp gumbo or the jambalaya. I'm thinking maybe the gumbo. What do you think? If we try one of these. We have now picked up our shrimp gumbo. So we can't wait to check this out. This did come from the New Orleans booth, so we can't have Mardi Gras with at least not trying a New Orleans no. dish, right? No. A Cajun dish. All right, so go ahead and try that out. It's nice and fresh though, because we're tasting early today. That's a good thing about starting early. It's all good and fresh. Good. We normally usually get this. So, yeah. I mean, nothing new. Nothing new. But like the burger was new for us. Yeah. So, but it's, is it it's good gumbo? Good as normal. Yeah. Okay. Is it spicy? No, not too bad. Not too bad. 
Let me check this out and see if uh, this is good. I did give the guy at the booth a hard time and I told him, I said, now don't you count out those shrimp? Which, I know he kind of has to count them out. Huh, you about but, lost your shrimp. Huh, just about lost it. Yeah. I did. But, you know, I was just giving him a hard time. He said he gave us one extra. Shrimp are good. The gumbo's good. I did forget to mention how much the shrimp gumbo was, but it's $7.49 or after your pass holder discount, it was $7.17 for me. So another tip, don't forget on these tastings, when you even if you're paying or you're using that gift card, use your annual pass holder discount. Alright, here we are at the other New Orleans booth. I think we'll have to uh, try our normal bag nets. Want to know why? Because there ain't no A in N-E-T. If you've watched us before, Tyler's done it plenty of times. Yeah. Bag nets. Bag he nets. calls them bag nets. So, <laughs> let's try some beignets. Well, you know, it's kind of true, isn't it? Y'all gonna love this one. It's a bag of bag nets. <laughs> <laughs> I guess because of, look, they have all the powdered sugar on them, so well, they're they, not... They, they did this just for me. Bag. Not... It's not very presentable. Uh, Presentation's kind of well for you. The presentation might be okay because yeah. it's a bag of bag nets. Yeah. But anyway, so there are bag nets in there. Yep. So we're gonna try them out. Now try not to make a mess. I'm gonna try not to. As you drip powdered sugar everywhere. They good. They made it in a bag, but they're good. <laughs> So let's see if I can do this without making a mess. But let me tell you, they're oh warm. gosh, you got a black shirt on. This is gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad, isn't it? It's gonna be bad. Um, but they're hot. They're warm. So again, that's a good thing about starting at eleven o'clock. Everything's fresh. I do like some of the festivals we've been going to that has some of the the drizzle on yeah. them. Whether you definitely kind of should drizzle them. A little bit other than just the powdered sugar, but they're good and warm, so very tasty. And they come up to be like six dollars, a little over six dollars. I think it was. And you get four of them after the pass holder discount. And there is four four bag nets in this bag. We are making our way down to another couple booths. They do have some stretched out around the park. Make sure that you check out the app to find all the food tasting areas. So I think we're done with what tasting we were going to do. We told you it was going to be a short, yep. short I mean, tasting video. I mean, we, you know, actually we're kind of full but yeah. between the burger yeah. and the gumbo yeah. and then the beignets. Yeah. But we may decide when we come back over, because we're going to fix the head over to Islands for a bit, we may decide to try something else yeah a little later there, this afternoon there's a for lot, a snack. There, I mean, there's a lot more stuff to try yeah. over here there's but, so much to try yeah. like I said most of it's up around New York but yeah. there's still booths stretched out basically around the park yeah um you've actually got powdered sugar on your corner of your lip oh gosh right there oh god <laughs> I wanted to close it out just in case we didn't come back and try something else but Every, everything that we had was great. Yeah, Anything that has to do with food and food festivals, we absolutely love yeah. anyway, and going around and doing some tasting. Thanks for joining us. Yep. Hope this helps if you're trying a couple of the things at um, Mardi Gras. Yep. If those things that we tried are something you're trying to check on, be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff, because we share a lot of stuff over there as well. So, bye. bye. And we are back over at Studios, and I think we're gonna try out this banana foster creme brulee crepe over at the crepe station. The crepe station is always here, but I think they have some offerings for Mardi Gras. So we decided to do one more tasting and we got one of the crepes from the crepe station. So their seasonal crepe is the banana foster's creme brulee crepe. I've never had a crepe. And, like. <laughs> and let me say, this took the longest to get of anything that we've gotten today, right? <laughs>
So, hope is good. And it was like 11 something after a pass holder discount. So let Tyler taste first. It was craving. Huh? It was craving. Okay. Go ahead and try it. Now we've had like Banana Foster's Cheesecake before, but I don't think we've had creme brulee and all in a crate. Pretty good. It's pretty good? <laughs> Might be a crepe guy. <laughs> all right, I've got my bite ready. I'm gonna try it out. Mm. It's good. Very good. I like the little where they kind of fire it up, where they do the creme brulee, and they kind of... What, you got a toasted like, uh -huh. part? So, yeah. I didn't get that. It's good. All right, we're gonna finish it off. A little bit difficult to eat, but good. Yeah.